All right, guys, so I'm taking a look at a sound bar today. I actually have it sitting right here in front of me. It's kind of large. I'll try to show it to you in a little bit more detail. But real quick, first, I wanted to give you, uh, I mean, obviously you could use this to connect to your television, or uh, it does have a USB input, and it does have auxiliary and optical uh, connections. You have all kinds of different options with this sound bar. It is uh, sort of a silver, like a dark gray, silverish. I, don't know, I guess a dark gray is more accurate uh, color to it. So depending upon you know what you're looking for in terms of the uh, environment it's going to be stuck into and what it's going to be sitting around with the other you know devices, the TV or other things, if you're going to use it for that purpose, uh, you may want to you know decide accordingly with the color. But it does come with these mounting brackets, kind of slides into place. Now the thing with that is you can see how these are they're not super huge, but they're fairly thick so they're going to stick out from the wall which is fine because you know if you got stuff plugged into the back you're going to have to have that space for the wires but some people may not like that it sticks out that far they may want more of a flush or you know somewhat more flush design so that's something to keep into account you know take into account and keep in mind you have your uh, anchors if you're going to mount this in drywall and these screws of course here you have a little instructional manual information uh, provided with this it does come with a power adapter somewhat similar to a laptop so you will have to deal with uh, you know having a place for this but it's kind of nice that it has this because if the power were to stop working and it was just a power related thing because you know sometimes the power distribution inside of a unit can actually go bad you don't have to tear it open and you know replace it you can just buy one of these these are relatively inexpensive so you could actually grab something like that if you wanted to very easily you also have uh, some audio cables here as you can see if you're, so you have sort of like a 3.5 millimeter and then you have your uh, right and left channel audio you have a optical cable included so that's really kind of cool and then you have just your uh, like a component type cable I, I believe you would call that and then you have your multi-function remote which actually works quite well and the unit itself show you this it's kind, of, it's kind of large so these are the uh, mounting areas and then on this side of course you have where the speakers are and this is you know pretty solid so it's not going to be like cloth or anything it's not going to get torn and uh, you know, wear out and, and look bad over time and over on this side you have some controls and a USB and then on the back you have all of your different inputs your power and your optical and you also have the power switch, so you can flip it off and on, uh, turn it completely off and on here. And you can see how, like I said, this sticks out, so it's going to be kind of, you know, needing the additional space for this to slide in and kind of, you know, lock into place so that it holds up the sound bar. So it's not super heavy, but it's 41 inches. It is... Uh, 90 watt, 2x2, two two, so two subs and two tweeters. And this is the part I wanted to show you. There's a little uh, LED, uh, LCD, LED style readout right here that changes according to what mode and, and what you're doing with it. So if I'm turning the volume up or down, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how well that's showing up. But anyway, you can see that there is a readout there. There's some images included along with this that'll show you uh, what that looks like as well. So let me leave this sitting here. So I didn't want to connect this to the TV because I do have a sound bar, but I think this would be kind of cool to have for a projector. So when you're watching movies, and even if you're just gonna watch videos on your phone and you wanted a little better speaker. Now this is maybe a little overkill, but if you're in the bedroom at night and you wanna go to sleep and you have this up on a dresser, or uh, you know somewhere on the wall, uh, even behind the bed or something like that, you can kind of have it kind of tucked out of the way. It's relatively slim. As I said, it doesn't stick out too far, but I think it's kind of a cool option to have for a phone. So I don't have any kind of music that I want to play and have to deal with copyright issues. So what I did was just went on my YouTube channel with some of the videos, and if I hit one of the videos, I think the volume is pretty close to max let me see here
So I have. So I have the bass kind of cranked a little bit just to give you a little bit of an idea. So the bass isn't maxed out, but it's about halfway. So you can hear, hopefully, I don't know how well that translates in the camera, but you can hear that it has a pretty decent amount of bass for something that's relatively small. And of course, you know, you're not looking at a, a big sub like you would have with a uh, larger sound bar with a subwoofer separate. So the fact that they were able to produce a pretty decent amount of bass in a relatively small uh, you know, overall package is actually pretty impressive and it sounds pretty good and even when the volume is pretty much maxed out at least for what I've been playing with it uh, so far it doesn't really appear to get overly distorted at least so far it hasn't been an issue uh, there are some little rubber feet like right here on this side I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little rubber foot right there. So hopefully, whatever surface you decide to stick this on, you're not going to scratch or damage. It came really well packaged and has a very unlikely chance of becoming damaged in shipment. So that's really good that they actually went out of the way to package it that way. But overall, it seems to work really well. Uh, I was going to give you a little bit of an idea of what it sounded like. Uh, I, said, I just don't want to deal with copyrights. So I don't want to play a lot of music on this thing, but I think it sounds pretty impressive. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Of course, Sound is very subjective, so depending on what you like. I like to have a little bit heavier bass most of the time, so that's why the bass is a little cranked, so I just wanted to give you a demonstration with the bass uh, cranked up. Um, so you can go like negative, and you can go above and below, and of course you can just balance it out in the middle. I put the bass at like three, I think the treble at one. Uh, you do have the EQ uh, right here on the remote. And you got the treble in the bass. Of course, you can play pause, volume, and different track navigation. You know, you can change between Bluetooth, USB, turn it off and on. So you have quite a few different options available through the remote. Uh, I don't know what the long term of this is. And because I don't use um, projectors all that often, because I can just throw things on the TV, which is a pretty good sized TV, uh, I, I probably won't use it all the time but I think like I said it's a great option to have and it sounds really good I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the sound as a whole but overall I think it looks good like I said you can see the finish it's sort of a gray sort of a dark gray I guess you might call it space gray uh, for some devices you have the like I said the readout here on the front if I do this maybe maybe that'll help a little bit you can see right there And I believe, let me turn this where I can see it. I think my batteries might not be all that great. There, there, there it goes. So when it's not in Bluetooth mode, you just see those bars. And then of course, if you flip off the power in the back, it's going to go like that. You're not going to see anything. So, yeah, I can't really fit it all into the screen at one time because I'm just sitting a little too close to the camera. But I just wanted to show you what was included with this, give you a little bit of a sample of the sound. Again, it doesn't really translate well into, you know, the camera, and depending upon what you listen to, what you watch. Um, but I think it'd be really good for uh, maybe not your main entertainment system setup, but a spare room, maybe in the den, a uh, kid's room for sure. Uh, yeah, you could even add it to, say, just some of the TVs have horrible speakers anyway, so you could add it to get a little extra sound, and if you're playing like, video games or something on your TV, probably work really well for that. Uh, yeah, I think it sounds nice. It looks nice. I don't notice any real distortion, even with the bass and the volume cranked to a pretty high level, uh, which hopefully you got to hear. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that's really all I have to say about this. Uh, I'll use it off and on at periods of time here and there. 
But yeah, if you want to find out more about this, you can check out the link below. I'm going to stop rambling now and just say thanks for watching.